this is Cat Man Person and Team Avocado back for another video. Uh, we're going to, we're going through the Skyland I have because I have some noobs in there. And yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna pause the video this time instead of turning it off, off like I did before, and get them back into the categories. See you. Okay, so we got our um, magic elements here so far. Uh, I'm you've seen them all, you've seen them all already. But just in case you haven't watched my Skylanders unboxing, in <laughs> just I just try and watch that one because it's on my channel. So as you will know, that is Pinata, which I'll give you the better look at later because I'm showing him last in the magic element. So here is Double Trouble. Uh, with his cheeky head with his feather sticking out. Anything you would want to say to Mercado about him? Mm, no, I, no. No. Do you think you'll like this character? I'm not too sure. Well, well, I guess we'll find out. That's double trouble. Or oh, with the motto that says Boom Shakalaka. Mm. Oh, don't laugh with me, please. It's embarrassing. So here's Spyro, which you should all know by now. He is the original character, which <laughs> everyone should know except for the pain larger that fell over. <laughs> he got a coma. <laughs> <laughs> so here, here is little Spyro. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's purple, mm. purple and blondes. I think so. Yeah. And he looks like he's got a ninja star on his base he here. Oh. 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 So, yes. Yeah. That's why anything you would like to say again, Team Avocado? Mm. Or do, do you have too many avocados last night? I had too many avocados last night. So you can't speak. Yes. Okay. So, as I was saying about Pain Lata, he's Who's back. got a comma? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he has a coma. Yeah. I have a mouth, but nothing else in my picture. Uh, so, he is playing Yada. If you can't see him, all he is is a giant lollipop. So don't be scared. No, just kidding. That's playing Yada. He's a giant pin Yada, uh, which got angry with being whacked and turned into a pain Yada. So, that's playing Yada. Anything you would like to say? He looks yummy. I think that's all for Pain Yarda, mm. since he just got called Yummy. Okay. He's got spice on his back as well. Now, next, we're going to do <laughs> water. Yeah. So. And as you can see, you've got a sneak peek of one character popping out of the side. Oh! Hi, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah. See ya. So, we are back uh, with the water element. And we have the crystal, which I'll never be able to use. That's just going to be stuck onto a necklace, which I was thinking about mm. making, because I reckon that would look pretty cool. Even though some people might judge me. But I don't care what you think, as long as I'm happy. So, you probably have seen all these characters, except for Gilgrant Anchor the Way, I think he is. I don't remember his series, though. So, these are all them. With... Washbuckler, Grave Clover, Slam Bam, Gilgrunt, and Gilgrunt Anchors Away, I'm pretty sure. So, Grave Clover will be shown last. And let's get, let's start off with the trap, I'm guessing, since it's closest to the camera. Okay. So, this is the Traptanium trap for all the water um, villains in uh, um, Trap Team. Yeah. In Skyland's trap team, him. It looks pretty cool. Same with the other two I have, but one of them does have the giant forehead. I like blue, and of course, him never kind of like blue. And there's a sneaky Skylander popping down the side of the screen again. So here is the life element, um, <coughs> trap. <laughs> no, water element. So, anything you want to say about it, Team Avocado? 
Uh, it kind of looks like... What are those called? Those statues with those heads. The um, weird tiki things? Yes, those things. Wagawa. So, get out! Grave trouble got me. So, we'll He is trying to get me to my watery grave. Okay, so let's put out Gilgrunt. You should all know Gilgrunt if you've played Spire of the Adventures or any of the other games. Because he's been in them all, I think. X. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been in every single game. So there is Gilgrunt. He looks pretty cool. He's still got his little jetpack on. And... Are they made of barrels? Yes, they are. How does that even work? <laughs> his Gilgrunt, he can do what he wants. Okay. So there's Gilgrunt. Fair enough. With his water splashing from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Anything you want to say about your Gilgrunt, Team Avocado? He... But still, I'm going to eventually get... One of those things that you can upgrade into tables that spin, so I don't have to spin it by myself. Yeah, um, so that'd be easier. it looks like he has a mangled gun at the front. Don't ask, this is a pre owned one and it got messed up. Oh, okay. So, there goes the little grunt himself. Can't get him. He went a bit too far. <laughs> he is. Um, another version of Gilgrunt, which is, <laughs> which will just be sitting here for now. So, he has a giant anchor in his gun, the jetpack like the other one, a mohawk, and some other cool details to him. I think it looks pretty cool. And it's in a better condition than the other one. That looks better. <laughs> is that all you say? It's pretty cool. No, he looks pretty cool. It just looks pretty cool. Yeah, and stuff. Stuff. So there is another version of Gilgrunt. So now you can pick him up out of Slam Bam or Wash Buckler. Very wishes. He is in bad condition. He died. Okay, so did Slam Bam. He got cut in okay, half. So with he is air. Wash Buckler. He has his wooden gun, wooden bronze gun, a sword, tentacles since it's an octopus, and your bandana, a hat, a coat a belt, and he's from the Swap Force game. So, anything you want to say about uh, your wash buckler? Okay. So, uh, sim still? I've got to see something. Come down to the ground. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? He's not a real octopus. Seven, eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is an octopus. He wins! <laughs> he so is there an was octopus. One, there was one buckler. I didn't see his <laughs> mustache. So he is Slam Bam. And now I'm just looking at the bottom of my screen because all I can see is oh really? Um, so here is the slam bam with some spikes and plates, four arms, and he looks like kind of like a yeti. I think that's what he is. <laughs> and he's got some see-through plastic. He does. He does. He's just so that's Slam Bam. Is there anything you want to say about Slam Bam, Team of Ricardo? Anything at all? No. So there goes Slam Bam. Now we get the sneaky the sneak peek for a four. Yeah. Grave Glover. So, you've probably seen him in my unboxing video, with all the art on his boxes, on his box I mean. Um, his fists are meant to be stone, but they are pretty cool blue. Same with his legs and head. Um, he's a pretty strong character from what I've been told. Tiny mummy. He is right now, but not. He's got his signature bandages. <laughs> And also surgery bandages. Yeah. And he's got a little neck. What do you call this? Um, I don't even 
think he has a neck. <laughs> <laughs> he probably does have a neck. Like a neck protecting type thing. Whatever the little called. skirt. I mean, kilt. So now we'll pause the video and go and, go and get life. our life element, which you can see in the little food fight, I think. In the corner. Goodbye. <coughs> so, we now have our life element sitting in front of us. You've probably seen them all except for a stealth elf, actually. With a flat head. Kind of sad. It's so smooth. Yeah. So, here's the trap for them. I want to spend around this time. Which, okay. The trap is just a giant hammer, which is made out of titanium again, which is plastic. Um, except for in the game where it's actually a crystal. So, there's that. Now, Team Avocado's favorite character I'm pretty sure that I have yes. is Food Fight. Yeah, he looks so, here's Food Fight. I think it's like a lettuce that shoots tomatoes. Mm, tomatoes are my favorite. Love them. Boo, yeah, boo, no, boo, 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 boo. I see you eating them every single day. Yes. So that's t- that's my avocado favorite character food fight. Um, there's only a couple of things. I'm just gonna have to reset every single character though when I get the sc- Imaginator's game. So one of the first characters I ever played as is coming up Shroom Boom. He's missing his arms though because pre owned from one of my friends, which I'm not gonna mention. That. Me and Team Avocado had some difficulties with not all that long ago. His sister or brother ripped off the arms and his slingshot. So, yeah, that's him with his giant tongue, which reminds me of somebody, but I just will show you when I see him. I can pick up a shoot bit again. There's two giant tongues. Okay, so Shroom Boom and that. And the top of him, him the, of the toadstool, which is Shroom Boom, is a helmet. So now, Stump Smash. The second character I ever played as. I fell in love with this character when, as soon as I started playing as him. From a couple of his abilities. And then I just had the urge to buy him. He's pre-owned, but he's in pretty good condition. And yeah, that's Stump Smash. Now, Stealth Elf is one of the classic characters, but this is, I think, the one from Supercharged, or Supercharged got a um, minigun, I don't remember. So that's her, with her mm, ding, ding, ding. weapon things. Um, she is a ninja, and yeah, that stuff helps. You should know her, as well as someone popping out of the side. Which is in the imagination if you watch it, anyone play that game. And I do have a new playlist up, which is called uh, Christmas Songs and Activities. So go check those out if you get bored. <laughs> so, yeah, here are the, the life element characters. And, yeah, and you'll get back popping on side. So now we're going to pause the video and get out the air element. Bye. So now we have the air element in front of us. Uh, the three, I'm pretty sure they're all classics. Whirlwind, Jetpack, and Sonic Boom. Team Avocado, are you going to spin them around again? Okay. So who are we going to start with? Whirlwind. Okay, so Whirlwind is like a unicorn. Or a Pegasus, I'm pretty sure. And shoots rainbows out of her horn. Magical. And... It has a couple of spikes going down her head and neck and back, feathery tail, feather, feathered wings, and it looks like a type of scaled chest down to the stomach, is that? Yeah. Okay. So that is Whirlwind, which I reckon might be a really fun character to play as. So does Team Avocado. Mm-hmm. At least I'm not saying anything different this time, like I was last time. Keep on mixing up your name with someone from school. That was a difficult time. Yes. So there's Jetback. A uh, uh, classic. Ca- Actually, no. Turns out Jetback was never inspired with adventures. I thought he was a classic character. He n- he's not. Guess what game he came out in? Giants. 
Yeah. The second game. He was never in the first game. You gotta trust this guy in his official website. He doesn't lie because it, it's made by the creators of Skylanders. So I think they'll know. So there's Jet back with the vacuum on his back. And part of the gun is the vacuum. Well, the gun is on the vacuum. He is an eagle, which I reckon Team Avocado would like because he's obsessed with birds. Yes, I am. Um, He's got some cool leg guards, headgear, and some arm guards. And uh, like... Grave Clobber, that he had the little thing, the little things coming down from his legs, and he's got a bite belt with the air element on it. So that's Jetback. That was a lot of talking for one character. So now we are up to Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom, this is Sonic Boom Series 2. So Sonic Boom has a child in Series 2 that she can summon in to help fight with. With her mm. and the parenting, <laughs> yes, she has headgear with the air element on the back of it. If you yeah. can see it, um, uh, another bird type character, I think, like another Pegasus type thing, or I think it's Griffin. Think. Griffin, yeah, um, yeah, with some leg guards, and yeah, that's. Oh, and it's also got the air element on the front of the helmet. So, yeah, that's the air element. So now me and Team Avocado will move them to the side again and get out. I believe it's the undead element with little Crypt King popping out the side right now. So let's pause the video and get out our undead element. So now we have our undead element up, up and going. So we have Cinder, Crypt King, and Chop Chop. Uh, odd name for someone undead, uh, like an intimidating name would be way better. But Chop Chop's his name, and no way of changing it. So let's start off from showing Chop Chop. Chop Chop has two swords, uh, some good, he some like Spartan head again, I'm pretty sure, or Roman. A little bit of a chest plate, some gloves, and some ankle guards, and some boots connected to those. Um, with a skull at the bottom to represent the undead. So there is Chop Chop. Now he will come back here, here, and Cinder will leave the nest. So now Cinder is here. Cinder's the character I've seen, showed you before. I'm not sure if I showed you Chop Chop, but I think I have. So Cinder is a dragon character like Spyro, with a, with a spike at the end of her tail, two claws on her wings, some spike to neck lace and bracelets on her front arm, on her arms, and some, one on her neck, horns, and she is purple. So that is Cinder, which also has claws. <laughs> so that's Cinder. Now, the one in the only Crypt King will start heading out. A bit heavy. Crypt King has a Traptanium sword. He's covered in armor, except for those parts where you can see his bone. Own. Um, he has multiple eyes. Uh, gold and black is his favorite color from the looks of it. And he is the king of the dead, and Crypt King means like a giant hole, like a grave or something. And just so you know, that's not really a god, it's more like a shade. Yeah. Fact okay. from Team Avocado. Which Tame person already knew, but still counts as the color. Fine then. Okay, so there is the Crypt King. Those are the undead elements. If Team Avocado has anything to say about them, he'll say it now. Um, I never knew that Crypt King's sword was made of Traptanium. Yeah, all the Trapmasters giant weapons are made out of Traptanium. So, I don't have any other Trapmasters except for Crypt King. So, yeah, I would have told you if I had multiple. Yeah. So, there is the Crypt King and the rest of his goons. So, now let's get out the tech element, which you can see a happy trigger happy and a bomb. 
popping out of the side of my shell. And I am attached to something in the background, which you cannot see. So, we will be back after this break. We are back with our fire element, uh, no, I mean tech element, a fire on the side for next. So, we have Countdown and Trigger Happy. Trigger Happy has been here from the start. Countdown, I'm pretty sure, arrived in Trap Team with Crypt King, which is back at his rightful home. So, they have gears, and, gears at the bottom of them. Uh, Trigger Happy is like an alien. And Countdown's just a massive bomb that shoots rockets. So, those are these two characters. Now, Team Avocado will show you. So, here is Countdown. He has a timer on him. He's got a guard holding him in place. And fire coming down his arm since he's blasting the missiles. Well, a missile. And he's got a belt clock. And it's... Oh, that's what's holding up the clock. Okay, so there is Countdown. Now, Trigger Happy will take the show. So, Trigger Happy is one of the classics, like I said before, with an extremely long tom tongue, same as um, Shroom Boom. And so, the golden guns help a lot, are uh, pretty strong that he's got. They shoot coins, and he can make a turret that shoots out coins. So, yeah. I wish he could shoot me coins. <laughs> Give me coins. Free coins. So, that's Trigger Happy, which, uh, which has a baby version called Trigger Snappy. And as you can see, the fire is going to be next because we have a little flame slinger at the side. So now we are going to pause the video and get out our fire. So we're back with our fire element. So we have Flame Slinger Series 1, Flame Sing Slinger Series 2, Blast Zone Normal, Blast Zone Special, one of Blast Zone Special Editions, which was pretty good since it was pre pre-owned to find a special edition in EB Games. So, as you can see, they are exactly the same as two. Ooh. Ooh, but just different colours. So, that's all they've got differently, and maybe I think they do, one of them does more damage than the other. And look at this magic on this. Yeah, they're split in half. So, now, Team Avocado will grab Flame Slinger Series 1. 1. Sorry. 1. one. One, one. So here's Flame Singer Series 1 with the bow with one arrow, which kind of says it's Series 1. Even though Series 2 has three, when it should have two. And I think there should be Series 3 with three. Yeah. I think that just makes sense. Yeah, it makes more sense than what they have now. He's got a quill on his back. Um, a bandana. A bandana. Uh, or a blindfold covering his eyes. A uh, top. And, pa and pants. I'm not sure anyone else actually does have top and pants. No, no one else literally does have top and pants. Just him. <laughs> so that is Flame Singer Series 1. Now Flame Singer Series 2 will come up. <laughs> Bing. So there's Flame Singer, Singer Series 2 with all three arrows and a a weapon like Wolfgang's in Imaginators, because his um he has one arrow though, which he is whole, which looks more like that one than this one, because that one's bigger than the other one. So yeah, that is series two of Flamesinger. Everything else is exactly the same, except that one has a little a couple of sparkles on it since it was pre-owned. <clears throat> so now um the normal blast zone will come out. So here's blast zone. Own with two bombs, like Countdown had his bombs, lava coming out of areas, fire coming out of his head, eyes of lava, and so on. <laughs> He's mostly lava, with some gear on. So that's normal Blast Zone. Now, Bl Blast Zone 2, come on, my second Blast Zone is the Special Edition, which I thought was just a normal edition, but it turns out it wasn't. So he is exactly the same as as a um, normal blast zone, just he is silver and black. So, yeah, that is the normal blast zone, or different blast, <laughs> my other blast zone, and both well, my flame slingers. Now, we are going to get out the 
maps or magic items. So we are back. These are just two sky in the card that I wanted to show you for Sonic Boom and Sprocket. Um, if you want to see a better view of them, just pause when I help them up. So there's Sprocket, and here's Sonic Boom. Now I'm gonna put them away, and now here are our magic cool items. So we have a cannon. The chest that I showed you last video for Skylanders, for showing the Skylanders stuff. A shield that will protect me, and of course, an anvil. The reigning anvil thing. So, here's the cannon, which looks like it has a skull on top, and wooden wheels, with spikes going down its back. So, that's the cannon. And the shield hat, and this is the shield. Has a little emblem on it, rocks at the bottom, and two straps to hold your arm in place. So there's the shield. Anvil has a marking on it. Once I get it closer, uh, there. Same on the other side. And yeah, a rock bottom, and it's made out of well plastic, but would be stone or metal in the game. So there's that. Now the Imagine my chest. So here's the chest. It is pre it's a pretty cool looking chest. I think Team Avocado would like it. Yeah. 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 So yeah, there's a chest. Not much to do with them. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now we have two two maps. We have a ice type map and a laboratory. So, both of them look pretty cool. I'll just take them up so I can show you. So, this one you get for Imaginators is, I think it's a pretty cool little, little map from the looks of it. And yeah, so that's that one. And then, and then there's the ice one, which sort of looks like a pig with arms. It does. So there's that, with some fat holes coming down the back of it. Um, so there is the pig with arms. Anything you want to say, Avocado? Somewhere um, in a box, I have, uh, I have a wallpaper, and it tells me maps. And um, there's the frozen map in it, and um, it says that it's alive or something. I can see that. So, yeah. That is sure. that. Now, there's one more thing, thing that we will show you right after this. So, it turns out Chaos is best friend with Bionicles and Skylander characters because his trap is surrounded. Now, I'm just going to get these filthy rodents out of here now and put them to the side. But I'm not saying Star Wars is bad. You just have to go watch a new movie, otherwise you are horrible people. And you will be eliminated <laughs> by the uh, cook. By the cook. <laughs> yeah, by the cook. By the cook. So here's the chaos trap. Uh, it's not really much. It's got a giant forehead, and that's really all. So that's the chaos trap. And that's it for this video. Well, nearly it for this video. Swap Force Unite! Oh, gee, they crashed. Well, let's get fixing. Um, this is totally working. Woo! We got them. Whoops. <laughs> So, here they are. There is. They're in. Wash Zone. Blast Buckler. And Blast Zone. <laughs> Just with the different colours. So, there are the three swap ports. Now, let's see what happens if we swap them again. So, okay, they're all the same. Names. 
Hi, Tanja. They're all the same. It's fine. They're all the same names, but yeah, that's all. Be ready for this video. So, there's a cat mess person saying goodbye. Yeah, I am saying bro. please subscribe yeah, and leave a like to this video. Oh, uh, and comment in the comment section and below for what Skyland you want me to play as first when I get the Skyland and Imaginate's game. Which I'm hoping I get it for Christmas. I will get you. So, that is the video, and now to my channel, just need to say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, bye guys.